everybody, my name is Bohmir. We are here at our summer house. It's a beautiful spring day and today I am going to show you our new model of ramp pump. In order to put together this ramp pump you don't need any knowledge. You need a mi minimum amount of parts and the greatest thing about this ramp pump is this check valve. It is a standard valve from a pump. You can buy it in a pump shop, I'm sure. And inside of the wall is quite heavy rubber ball. Uh, in comparison to standard swing check wolf, I feel that this will be much more efficient because the rubber ball is much heavier than the flap in swing check wolf. As you can see, we use minimum amount of parts. This wolf is size one, one inch. Then we use one inch and quarter T. Then we use three quarter of inch wolf. 3 quarter of inch T and this tank. The tank is bladder tank and I need to say that it's supposed to be with bladder because uh, as opposite to my other ramp pumps uh, the bladder tank is behind the waste valve so we don't get any air to the bladder tank. So if it wouldn't be a bladder tank the air would disappear over time. The great thing about this ramp pump is that you don't need to hassle with any weight, you don't need to set up anything, everything is just ready and it's still a very capable pump. Also a good thing is that this pump is really rigid, really solid and it's not so tall as my other ramp pumps. As you can see, you can put here two stones and it's standing still. Now let's connect the pump and we will see how much pressure we get and how much water we get. Now we will connect the measuring device. So we will close the wall. We will connect the delivery pipe. And now we will let the water in. And we will start the ramp pump by clicking to the ball. Okay, we have still some air in the intake pipe. A few moments later. One eternity later. And as you can see, we lost almost all of the air in the intake pipe and the manometer started to rise. This is actually a sign that we have still some air in the intake pipe because the cycle is too short and the pump doesn't have any power.
So let's take out the air from the intake pipe again. So I think we still have somewhere some air bubbles and I will now go and I will check it by ear. It should be hearable on the pipe somewhere. It looks that actually the intake pipe is all right. So this might be quite a ramp pump fail. <laughs> so guys, we are now in the situation that we have two short cycle and we almost don't have pressure. We have 1.2, 1.3 bars and that's not enough because with other ramp pumps we did like four, four and a half bars. We think that the problem is in this valve, the rubber ball doesn't have any distance to go up and the water directly takes the ball and shuts the valve. So my father told me that he put to the valve some ring that actually puts the ball a little bit higher. So now we will take out the ring and we will try it again. We definitely don't have any air bubbles in the intake pipe that I know because I didn't hear anything during the way up. So let's try. So we will close the intake. The ramp pump directly stopped. This is the waste wall. Here is one gasket. This is the rubber ball. And actually when you buy this wall here, is another rubber gasket and that makes a problem. So we took it out and we made this sur surface a little bit more nice for the ball to have a seal. Uh, probably the problem here with this is that my father put here something that restricts the ball to go lower and restricts the water flow. So I took it out and now we will try it without this restriction. So we will put everything back, seal on the seal, yes it's sealing. We will put back the screws. And now I will open the intake and we will see if it is any better. So the ramp pump is working now. Uh, the pulse of the ramp pump is a little bit faster uh, in comparison to my custom valve but uh, for the fact that this valve is almost stock and with no hassle I think it's a good result. We have almost three bars here and now it's the time to send the water upstairs and to see how much water do we get upstairs. So I'm opening the valve and let's see the pressure. The pressure will go down. So now I will check how much water do we get here from this ramp pump. I just say that the maximum pressure down and the stream is just below three bars. Will this pump be faster or slower? Do we pump more water or less water than with my original ramp pump. The original ramp pump has around four and a half bars. So let's check it out. 
three, two, one, go. So, one liter in 27 and a half seconds. So I think it's very comparable to my previous ramp pump. We have one liter in 27 and a half seconds. That's a really good job. But there is also one more thing to check. You are asking in comments how much pressure is here at the end of the delivery pipe. So I will now close the delivery pipe and I will check the pressure here. So I'm closing. At the end of the delivery pipe we have 1.5 bars and it means that we could pump the water to 15 more meters of height. It's quite surprising that this water pump delivers kind of the same amount of water or maybe even more water than my original pump. And that means that we don't have to go always for the highest pressure but we need to pick a suitable check valve for the ramp pump and for the situation. This is the end of this video, thank you for watching and if you have any questions you can leave a comment down below, otherwise like, subscribe and have a great time, bye!